Hey guys, this is Billy D from Billy D Outdoors TV. And I'm out here uh, making a fence around my my field out here. An electrical fence to keep the hogs and the deers out. <clears throat> so I'm going to go step by step on what I'm doing with this. To show y'all guys how to do it just in case you're trying to build some fence. And you know you're trying to keep it low cost as possible. Um, I cut my post for my my uh my posts down the sides and my H braces and all of that. So it kept me from spending about three dollars a post <laughs> on some wooden posts, which I haven't checked in a minute. It might be a little higher than that now. But um so first thing I did you're gonna need something to dig holes with. That's my god brother went and got a Predator auger. It's pretty good. If you got some hard clay though, it's not gonna it's, it's not gonna touch that clay. I'm just gonna let you know. Just the difference in the ground. That was clay. I just started out trying to dig in. This right here is more of a sandy clay. It would let me do that. So I'm uh I dug my holes and I put in my post and then uh of course, you know you got to pack your post. So come over there, scoop you some dirt around there, kick your dirt in, fill in the cracks. And you go to packing the dirt around it. Make that post solid. And this is for the H braces. You got to have corner H braces. So that can hold tension and uh, make your fence line tight. Make your fence worth something. You know, this temporary fencing. Don't get me wrong, but I still want to make sure my stuff is, you know, uh, support the weight of a, a hog if he try to crash through and let the electricity pop him real good. You know, I don't want more lines all saggy and crooked and everything. I want it kind of uniform. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go and find me a, a post to put in between these. That's why you call them H braces. I'm going to put me some posts between these and nail them in. I'm going to probably get my, get my chainsaw and cut me some notches so I can sit the post down off in it. And then I'm going to nail it on in with some uh, with some big uh, nails, some spikes. And that's going to be the beginning of the ace brace. Then I'm going to get me some wire. And I'm going to tie it up around there and make my ace brace, which I'm going to show you all that step in the next video. We're going to go step by step with it. 